Hello, I'm John Reisman, and this is Centrist News and Perspectives. Let's talk about Donald Trump trying to start civil war in America. Oh, you think I'm being dramatic. He's been talking about it ever since he started running in uh, 2015. He's been talking about law and order. He keeps talking about how the bikers behind him, the military is behind him, the police are behind him. He's got all the tough guys. And now he's got them all fired up to go out and attack American citizens and attack reporters. We've just had to run about a block as police moved in. We've been uh, fired at with rubber bullets. My cameraman has been hit. Uh, we've also seen tear gas being used. Here we go, they're moving through again. This is exactly what it looks like. Exactly what it looks like. We're just staying safely. Hit with a shield in the stomach, a punch to the lens. Another officer lashes out with a baton as we run. You heard us yelling there that, that we were media, but they, they don't care. They are being indiscriminate at the moment. They chased us down that street, as you see. Uh, they were firing uh, these rubber bullets at everyone. There is tear gas, and now we are really surrounded by the police. And you really saw the way that they dealt with my cameraman, Tim. They're quite violent and they do not care who they're targeting at the moment. I just want to remind you, nobody was doing anything. They pulled in, uh, they opened fire. Look at them, they're aiming their, they're aiming their fire now. They're working towards us. They're working. Step back, get back, get back, get back. Your head, your head, he's head. Step back. Step back, I got it, I got it, I got it. Whoa, watch it, guys. You got plenty of time here. Are you okay? I'm getting shot, I'm getting... Okay, Katie, are you okay? Rubber bullets, rubber bullets, it's okay. It's those pepper bullets. It's those pepper are they, bullets. That who are they the aiming machine. that at? Uh, nice shooting at the photographer. At us, like directly at us. Directly Why at us. Why are they yeah. doing that? They're shooting at our crew. I don't Do know. Do they not know that obviously they see the camera? Press, press. I'm press. I don't care, get down. I am press. I don't care, get down. Okay, I'm down, I'm down. Impress. Please. You <laughs> I will fight to protect you. I am your president of law and order. Night seven of riots, the commander in chief came with an arsenal. We will end it now. Today, I have strongly recommended to every governor to deploy the National Guard in sufficient numbers that we dominate the streets. If a city or state refuses to take the actions that are necessary to defend the life and property of their residents, then I will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. Let's not forget the very first part of the U.S. Constitution is the right to protest. So he's attacking the protesters and calling them terrorists. That means Donald J. Trump is the terrorist. And he's terrorizing America. And we need to stop that as quickly as possible. But that means the police have to realize that they're actually supporting the guy they're supposed to be arresting. That's the truth. Donald lies and misleads every single day on multiple, every time he's in front of a camera, a microphone, he will lie and mislead. That's what he does. I get his emails every day, it's what he does. He's lying and misleading. His entire campaign, his entire staff, you look at all the people that have worked for him that have been funneled in and out of the White House, and they all have sycophantically supported Donald J. Trump's lies and misdirections to achieve their personal agendas to keep him in power because he's king. America is not about having a king. It's about having justice, freedom, liberty, and law and order. If you just use law and order, then you're a dictator. Hitler did it, Bolsonaro does it, the heads of the Philippines, you can look at Kim Jong-un, you can look at Putin. These are all dictators, and these are Trump's friends. <laughs>